What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Your boy, the Dread Man, is back with an episode of Nerd Talk. Here to give you guys my long-awaited movie review for Avengers Infinity War. The big payoff, the culmination of 10 years worth of Marvel movies, and the 19th movie in the entire franchise. Wow. Just wow. I mean, I, I don't even know what, what, what to say, where to begin. My thoughts are all scrambled. I'm really just trying to process what the hell I just saw. Because, well, for one, this movie is two hours and 40 minutes long. Well, as I'm, as I'm making this video, it is 2.21 a.m. And me and my brother went to go see it at 10.45 p.m. So, yeah, that's, that should tell you how long the uh, that this, this uh, movie is. But, um, I mean, yeah. And we went to go see the 3D too. So whether you see it in standard, IMAX, 3D, whatever the, whatever format you see it in, just know that you will get your money's worth regardless. Our tickets were thirteen seventy five a piece, and guess what? It was worth every damn penny. But uh, yeah, I mean, where where do I begin? This is a non spoiler review, of course. I might do a spoiler review in a couple of days, maybe a week from now, when I'm pretty sure everybody's seen it. Might even do it with a couple of friends to shoot. I might even actually go live and have some people co-host with me to share their thoughts on it. So if that'll be something that you know any subscribers or viewers might be interested in, just hit me up and let me know if y'all want if y'all want to chime in too. Um, but yes, uh, non-spoilers. Basically, this movie picks up where Thor Ragnarok left off, and the premise of this movie pretty much a big purple demigod in space named Thanos wants to collect six magical artifacts and put them in a golden glove so he can reshape the fabric of the universe. That's pretty much the plot of the whole movie. But this isn't really a spoiler. This is kind of just an advisory that you are probably going to have to watch the last three or four Marvel movies. Like, those are pretty important, especially if you want to be up to speed. Guardians 2, you definitely want to watch that. Thor Ragnarok, definitely want to watch that. Black Panther, definitely want to watch that. Spider-Man Homecoming, that's optional, but still, you might want to watch it Anyway, but I mean, you guys know, you guys know the drill by now. All these movies link together from the first Iron Man all the way up until now. And it's interesting to see where they're going to go forward with this. But, um, I mean, and the thing is, they like said, with as long as this movie is, it's tough to give everybody their fair amount of screen time. This movie has three different locations. Uh, well, maybe four different locations. One of them you don't really see that much. The majority of this movie is going to take place in outer space. Um, then probably about a third of the movie takes place in uh, Wakanda. And um, also, uh, let's see, let's see. There's New York, there's um, Wakanda, and then there's space. There's a couple of plan. There's a couple of planets in space, and you know, little. I just call it space. But uh, yeah, and a lot of questions get answered, like. Um, what, one of the main questions I asked was, um, how did Thanos acquire the Infinity Gauntlet in the first place? You find out. Um, where in another one is the, mainly everybody asks, um, where's the Soul Stone? You find out. Oh boy, do you find out. And like I said, no spoilers. But the Soul Stone is closer than you think it is. It's closer than you think, and that's and I'm just gonna leave it at that. And also, if you've seen the comments, if I mean, if you've seen the movie, please don't be an a hole and uh, spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen it. If you do, I'm gonna delete the comments. But um, wow, I mean, this movie it hit on the cylinders it was supposed to hit, but this movie had more curveballs than the Last Jedi. The Last Jedi, like they they uh, really did have some moves through us for a loop, but this movie, but I mean, but um. Infinity War? Man. And of course, I mean, with any Marvel movies, you're going to have your moments, you know, of comedy. You're going to have your laughs. You're going to have. This movie is probably about 90% action. I swear. I should have. I could have broke a damn Guinness World Record. Me and everybody in the theater could have. Because this movie is two hours and 40 plus minutes long, and I don't think I blinked once. And of course, um, like. Every emotional spectrum, it, it gets hit in this movie. 
And Thanos, while he's the villain, he's actually the main character of the movie. And sure, he's not a sympathetic villain like Killmonger was, where it's like, okay, I can kind of see it from your perspective. But Thanos' main goal is to acquire these six Infinity Stones to become a god. And he wants to reshape the universe in his image. And you're like, well, why is he doing this? It's like, oh no, he's not evil just to be evil. He has his motive. He's like, well, I'm doing this for, I'm not doing this for me. I'm not doing this because I get pleasure out of it. I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this to bring balance to the universe. Because this universe is overpopulated anyway. So, guess what? He wants to commit genocide. He wants to commit universal genocide. And, uh, let's see. The acting. The acting in this movie is wonderful. It's not, I mean, of course, like, it's not at any point corny, especially the humor. But, I mean, like, when it's serious, I mean, it's serious when it needs to be. It's about, I mean, the thing is, they balance the serious tone with the, um, with the humor. There's a little bit of humor. I, I say, you know what? I say this is about maybe 75%. Nah, I say it's about 65% serious and 35% humor. It's funny when it needs to be. But, um, wow. Those tearjerker and heart wrenching moments. They're gonna get you. And the thing is, you're not gonna see it. You're, gonna, you're like, some of the people, like, you know, you're, you're gonna see it coming a mile away. And then other members, you're gonna be like, oh my god, I did not expect that. I mean, yeah, so yeah, there's, there's definitely gonna be some curveballs. Um, just now, like I said, I don't really want to dive too much into it, but, um, alright. Action and special effects. I'm going to give it a 10. The uh, acting, I'm going to give it a 9. Um, let's see. The story, I'm going to go ahead and give that a perfect 10. Um, let's see. Equal character and screen time. I'm going to go ahead and just give that one... I'm going to give that one a 9.5. Um, or my overall rating for Avengers Infinity War. Drum roll, please. I'm going to go ahead and give this movie a 9.5 out of 10. There's some things that they could have touched on. There's a couple of scenes that I felt were missing, like, to the main point of the story. Especially, like, in the first 15 minutes. Like, I mean, because you're still going to be... I mean, even when you leave this movie, all the way, like, from when you... From the opening scene to the end of this movie... You're going to still be asking some questions like, wait a minute, why did this happen? Or where did, like, why did they leave this out? And I'm pretty sure, I mean, like, I'm pretty sure they left plot holes in this movie on purpose. They're so like, wait a minute, they didn't explain this. Guess what? There's four more Marvel movies before the big, before, um, you know, part two of what they call it, or Avengers 4. There's, um, Ant-Man and Wasp. There's Captain Marvel. There's, um... Yeah, oh yeah, let's see. Ant-Man and Wasp and Captain Marvel are the only ones left, so, uh, before Avengers 4. Uh, yeah, but overall, my overall rating for this movie is a 9.5 out of 10. Now, you guys, if you've seen it, leave minor, minor spoilers if you absolutely can't help yourself, but just leave your rating of this movie in the comments section, or just your thoughts, or just a quick summary. Anyway, I'm out. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.